Aquarius, welcome to your intimate tarot reading. For those of you who are new to the channel, you'd like to know why I read intimate tarot, the purpose it serves, what it's about, what you can expect, that kind of thing. It'll be outlined for you in the description box. Heads up. If you're that person who is sensitive around the subject of sexual energy, descriptions, that kind of thing, feel free to pass this reading type up. It's not for you. Okay? No offense taken, none whatsoever. All tarot, like all YouTube, is at will, free will. You don't have to watch or participate, knowing from the very beginning that it might upset you. And what's the point? I want to help, right? I don't want to upset you. I'm here to help. My regular collectives, they know what's up, they know what to expect, and they'll be the first one to tell you. Honestly, they're very similar to the general love readings, just with additional layers, pockets here and there of intimacy woven into it. Because all energy is real and valid, including our sexual energy. It's going to affect us as individuals, thus it stands to reason our relationships too. That being said, I operate from the philosophy of the more you know. That's it. There you go. So, like always, regardless, you know, you stick around or not, hopefully you do. Take what resonates, leave what does not, and reverse energies as you see fit. However, do keep in mind, I might see a single Aquarius. Actually, several collectives have shown me singledom, which is really cool. Um, it's not always deeply weighed down and heavy, intimate energies, but it can often go into that space, and I'll tell you why. Intimate energies, guys. The energy that's most neglected, misunderstood, or undervalued tends to cause a great deal of problems if left neglected or unchecked. So it can often go into that place of this is what's happening between me and this person for 10 years. And other people are like, I was just tuning in and I thought I was going to have some fun this weekend. <laughs> and it's very rarely that. It, not saying it doesn't happen, but it's very rarely that. So that being said, if you're single and you identify, great. I, I love it when people open up, they have choices, they're excited, and you see the you see the butterflies and you see the beginnings of something, and that's wonderful too. I love that. I love when people show me that. And again, that's why we're here, guys. I never know what I'm gonna see. That being said, however, these are general collective readings, not one to one private, which is to say they may not resonate at all. Frustrating as that is, it's also perfectly normal in tarot readings, collective tarot readings. So, if that's true, okay. Check your other placements. You will find yourself in there somewhere. What's going on, please, for that Aquarius? Sexual. Ooh, okay. A little awkward there on the old shuffle. What's up? Show me that Aquarian sexual energy. What's going on, please, for Aquarius? Show me Aquarius. Show me Aquarius. Why is it just me, or does it feel like your birthday season just came and went? Like, honestly, I feel like we were in Pisces before you knew it, and now we're in Aries. It's like, I, I'm looking back on, I'm like, where the heck, what happened in Aquarius season? You know, where did it even go? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's going on, please? Show me that Aquarius sexual energy. Show me that Aquarius sexual energy, please. What's going on? Let's do one more. Show me that Aquarius sexual energy, please. Ay, ay, ay. You back up. Strength. The Ten of Swords. Oh, out. Out, out, out. Okay, hold on. King of Wands, Temperance. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. 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 Someone's offering to work it out with you. Are you going to accept it? It's literally the bridge point between yourself and this person. You're showing me Strength, Ten of Swords. I know you have the resolve to get through this pain, difficulty, and or to divide in terms of that... Uh, I just, whatever, however it is you use strength, I want it, you to use it to the best of your abilities. You can have strength to accept the offer to work through this or use the strength to reject it. I don't know where you're at just yet. We need to clarify. This person surrounding King of Wands Temperance, they're showing me, yes, they have passion for you, but they also want a temperate, temperance, patience, healing, uh, sexual healing. They still favor you. They still show you that level of affection or they'd like to. And like I said, the offered bridge here is the Eight of Pentacles. I want to work through this. What say ye, Aquarius? That kind of thing. Okay. I'm very curious about the road you will take. Ten of Wands, death, perhaps you won't. And the Emperor, I, okay. I think we, well, I was curious. And there's the answer. Um, I do think it's posed as a question mark. If it's too difficult, then it's kind of like it shall not be. Okay. And I think that's something that you should know about yourself. At what point does difficult cross the threshold into too difficult? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hanged man. Yeah. I don't think you're going to immediately rush into that decision. You need perspective. I think you want to enter a period of uh, accumulating evidence to see if this is worth to continue to work out. 
sexual energy aside, do you have that in you? Absolutely. Absolutely. With strength there? You bet. For sure. Are you necessarily feeling it towards this situation? Not naturally. Not naturally. And if you're going to go into a place of healing with the person, anybody, be it for spiritual reasons, sexual reasons, emotional reasons, you need to know if that's within you. Do you still feel that at all? Because then that's going to start to degrade the rest of the relationship if it's not there, and then there's no point in working through it. See what I'm saying? But if there's still some natural sexual feeling between yourself and this person, emotional and spiritual, then perhaps you have something to work with. I just know that whatever it is you're choosing, it's done so with empowerment, okay? In the insistence of, I do want to answer this question. However, you want to know what's the difference between working it out between us. Is it going to be hard or is it going to be too hard? I think that's what you want to know, and I think that's a fair question. Okay? A heaviness here. Is there the threat of an ending? Absolutely. Are you immediately going to jump into that? No. But whatever it is you do decide, you need to know that it's right for you. And that's all I care about. Okay? When people are consolidated in their decisions, okay, how they handle things, and they know it's right, and they're in alignment, that's what matters, guys. Okay? Let's take a look. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's take a look at that strength. Let's take a look at that strength, please. Show me the strength. Show me strength, show me strength, show me strength. I was just telling somebody, you know, we always want to take a moment to clarify strength because it means different things to different people. So I want to see how you view your sexual energy and strength and how you feel towards this, or how you don't. Because the truth here is quite powerful. The Empress, Devil, Page of Wands. Okay. 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 There's something here prior to this moment where you used to be a sexually, exclusively mutual being towards this person, and now you're saying you're not, that you feel really bad about it. And your strength, you kind of feel plagued with the devil here about giving all your best to this. And it's a feeling you're just becoming acquainted with. Page of Wands. It's a little angry. Okay, let's break it down, guys. Let's break it down. Let's break it down. Let's break it down. We have the Empress, Devil, Page of Wands. Okay. So the Empress in sexual tarot. Okay, she's tops. First and foremost, she is mutually exclusive with the person she deems is worthy of her equal. So therefore, she has no qualms about sexuality, her expression, her comfort or his comfort with their body and how they give it to their partner because indeed that's their partner. It's saying, I chose you and just you. So here's the goods. Only you have access to them because I allow it. Okay? All that loving, nurturing, generous at the sexual level and anywhere else. The devil's attached to it. There's pattern here of just beginning to understand or fear that perhaps we've been giving our best energy to someone who may not have deserved it, and we feel very bad about this, okay? That you kind of gave yourself to this situation over and over again, being loyal to it, being exclusive to it, repetitively, okay? We're starting to wonder there with the page of wands if we should feel angry about this. It's a fear that's creeping up on you. Did I choose the wrong mate? That's pretty serious. Made you feel bad about your sexual energy. Put you into this position of feeling like, can you work through it? Is it even possible? It's kind of like saying on the inside, I don't think you're verbalizing this, but on the inside you're saying, I chose you. Did I do that? Why? Why? Because now you're in this position of saying, I feel bad about having chosen you. I gave the best of myself to you, and now I'm in a position of feeling bad about it. I kind of low-key regret that choice, but it just started to develop page of ones. I don't want that devil to get out of control. <laughs> I really don't. 
because then that's really going to take it to a place of regret and remorse, and I don't want that for you. So that tells me that this is very fresh if you're having a reaction like that. Let's get to that Ten of Swords, please. You were once very, very comfortable with this. And you just started waking up to this notion, this feeling, this very strong feeling. Should I feel bad for having chosen you? That kind of thing. Very interesting. Very interesting. What's up? What's up? Was there sexual energy or self not honored, not taken seriously, not given due weight, respect, measure, equal give and take? What happened? Let's see that Ten of Swords. With strength there, that really is the best of my vitality, my sexual energy, my youthful self, the best of everything. I chose you. And somehow that choice feels disrespected. And let's see that Ten of Swords, please. But it's so small, it just started that feeling, that negativity. And it's like a glowing ember, and you're trying to figure out how much strength to give that, that fear, that weight. Is that the truth? Is that the truth? Is that the truth? Let's see it. Well, I gotta tell you, the water signs were all a walk through the park compared to yours, honey. Yours is really intense. Yours is really real. Kind of shows the depth of the intimate terror and how far it can take us sometimes. The magician, the fool, the Knight of Pentacles, you know, you know, ha you're like, I have half a mind to exit this right now. Whew. Yeah. yeah and you, it's the Knight of Pentacles. Is, you, you, you can't help but wonder, was I always moving in this direction? Was I always moving in this direction? Because I'm not going to lie. You're kind of telling me I kind of feel like I want a new beginning. Ooh. Yeah. You kind of feel like you want a new beginning. There's something about the strength of yourself is so deeply affected by this. Like I gave you the best of myself, and for what? Best of my energy, my youth, my reproductive years, whatever it is. I don't know. But it's strong, and it's a point of pride for you, the Aquarius I'm looking at. <sighs> so the Ten of Swords is here, and when I clarify it, part of you, yeah, if we're being really real, really real Aquarius, you're like, I'm a hop, skip, jumping away from a new beginning. It's almost like you're looking at it, make it worse. Put your foot in it more, please. I need a little bit more reason to edge out the door. The magician, the fool, the Knights of Pentacles, it's a very slow realization of a long-standing motivation that perhaps you should have exited this a long time ago. Some of that's going to be helped and hindered by that devil energy that seems to be new to you. Okay. I think this motivation to have a new beginning was a low background hum of a noise that has recently amped up its volume. And in the realization of it and where you stand with this person, it would stand to reason that this is still, like I said, a very fresh, unaccustomed feeling of... Was I wrong to give all this to you? The best of my years... No, I don't think so. We choose the best that we can at the time. The only time we're making bad choices is if we know on the outset that they're bad choices and we feel fragmented about it. That's how you know it's a bad choice. But if you made the decision in this, whomever this represents, as a good choice at the time, then indeed it was. Lessons are attached to things, all choices, good or bad. Okay? But it was still a good choice. If you entered into it as a good choice, then yes, it was. How things end up is how things end up. Okay. We aim for the best, guys. But sometimes best is not the outcome. But sometimes it is. The best outcome isn't always obvious. Okay. I want to jump on over this character. Now they're showing me I'm still crazy about you. Um, I have passion for you. I am. Let's temper this. Let's work it out. Let's calm it down. Let's, let's discuss these difficult feelings, please. I want to heal things with you. So that's their energy towards you. Let's see that King of Wands, please. Let's see that King of Wands. Some of that King of Wands.
Nine of Swords, Five of Wands, the Seven of Wands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're trying. They're trying to. That's the definition of trying to keep it cool. They're trying to. They're trying to play it cool. Um, that they're using that King of Wands not as passion towards you, but as in I'm here. I'm completely focused. Uh, my energy is 100% and present and available to you. That's what that is. Um, the sincerity and the effort, the ignition. You have 100% my focus. On the inside, they're scared. They're very, very scared. They're very, very, very scared. Okay. Um, they're suppressing all of that. <laughs> they're trying not to show it. So the Seven of Wands is really trying to, to, to tamp down the anger, Five of Wands, and the anxiety, Nine of Swords. Like, don't, don't show that. Don't show that. Don't show that. But they're scared. Okay. Uh, they're conflicted. They want to... I want to see what their definition of temperance is. Hold on. Because um, there's the offer. Will it be used correctly? They're they're very nervous, uh, anxious in the head, anxious in the spirit. Okay. So despite that calm outward appearance inside, very scared um, about your reaction, what you're thinking, and understanding that the ability to exit is at your disposal, it seems. Okay. Temperance. Show me temperance, please. Show me temperance. Show me temperance. I can see that they're trying to avoid a fight. Um, a combativeness. They want to avoid all that. Okay. Three of wands, the moon, the four of wands. Okay. Huh. Three of Wands, the Moon, the Four of Wands. So this person has had background knowledge for a while that not all has been well in this relationship, but they're not being prompted to do anything about it until they perceive a real threat. Mm, it's not proactive. It's not my favorite. A lot of people do it. I get it. It's just... Avoidance seems to... There's a major issue. Someone knows it's a major issue, but then they downplay it. And it's like, ah, it doesn't, or we're used to it, or we're, it's normal for us. And when it's not really, you just get, <clears throat> you can normalize anything if you live with it long enough, you know? You know that uh, phenomenon that if you live near um, a train station, you'll get used to it. You'll get used to falling asleep with the sound of the train, waking up to it, uh, telling you the times of day. And then let's say you move away from it, now you can't sleep. You can normalize just about anything. Human beings, if nothing else, are adaptable, at least that's, that's the key to our own particular evolution is adaptability. So I can tell that whatever roughness that exists in this relationship, they learned to live with it, and so did you, until it reached some sort of critical point that you were acutely aware of. And you're, you're in a state of disbelief. But it's really driving the point home that something needs to be done. And they're like, oh, it's all catching up now. <sighs> Shit, I guess I got to deal with it now. Okay, everybody calm down. Let's try to... I'm going to suppress the worst of my fears, just like I've done everything else up until this point, leaving it under the moon until it absolutely reaches critical mass, and now I have to deal with it. Passivity will no longer work. Let's see what we can do to soothe the next five minutes, and that's why I have a problem with it. Real healing takes time. It cannot be solved in five minutes. It cannot be solved in a day, and it cannot be solved in a couple of weeks of more or less just getting along with somebody and ignoring the worst parts. So I can see that they learn to operate under this method with you for how many years, but really it's just one large elaborate avoidance tactic of a critical issue that up until this moment, up until this day, up until this time, they quote unquote didn't have to deal with it until now. So this is what happens <laughs> when we put things off. Uh, eventually you pay the bill. So I tell people it's best to deal with problems sooner rather than later because they accumulate interest as this person's thing for themselves. The very thing they didn't want to deal with or talk about, and it seems to be a big chunk of it, is something to do with the sexual energy. They're like, ah, I've been avoiding this one for a long time, but it's a problem. Okay, well, all right, let's 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 start sorting out this mess. It, it feels like it's a little too late on that one, you know. And the old tactics of this will blow over if I minimize it or normalize it, it's not working, not this time. Not this time. You know, I'm not saying they're a bad person, but I am saying... Eventually, passivity always loses. It always does. What's well, better to be direct even if it hurts? 
you know, you don't have to be a dick about it. Just be honest. What's going on? Then that thing doesn't have a chance to accumulate, get buried under the moon, never mind incur that level of interest. So, you know, uh, temperance three ones, the moon four ones, literally that's saying this was a long time coming. I knew this conversation was going to come up and I knew it was going to be unavoidable. It's, it's an argument they don't want to deal with. But they are kind of saying, okay, okay, sh 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 calm down. I don't know about you. When somebody approaches with that kind of energy, the first thing you do is the opposite and you get more enraged. As, so that means one of you is correct. The person who's going, shh, 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 calm down. I knew this was coming. Then that means you're the reason I'm pissed. <laughs> I've been wanting to have this conversation with you forever. And now it's all coming out for one reason or another. And you're telling me to shh, shh, How about you level up in your energy? You know, because it's, the more they go like this, it just kind of reconfirms what you're seeing over and over again. I, <laughs> they just know they want to avoid a fight. But that, this, I knew this was coming. I knew this was going to catch up to me. I knew I was going to have to deal with this topic with Aquarius sooner or later. God dang it. What does that mean? They couldn't suppress it long enough? Jesus, like, what? And what is it about the sexual energy? It's like, I didn't want to talk about this with you. I didn't want to deal with it. I wanted to engage with it. But I guess you need something. So, okay, I don't, man, God dang it, that irritates me. I, I just, it, it irritates me. There is absolutely a thousand percent of relationship here. But this person's sexual energy goes into a place of, I'm just going to neglect it or put it off, and I don't want to question it too deeply. Um, let's see that Eight of Pentacles, please. I, I want to see something stellar in that offer to, quote-unquote, work through it. Because mind you, at this point, at least energetically speaking, you're a little bit more than halfway out the door. So when I tell you, you have a job of measuring up between this is hard versus too hard. Okay. It depends on the depth and breadth that somebody is willing to work through issues. You just want to glide the surface, you're going to get surface results. If you want real, real tangible results, that means real work. And I don't know, it seems to me if you wanted to work with this person, you're going to have to take several steps back in order to get them to catch up to where it's important to you and why it's not so much to them. I don't know. Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Nine of Wands. God dang it. That's what I'm saying. God dang it. This is, I, this is one of the things that pisses me off seriously about tarot. This is one of the few things that I see that I can honestly say this is where it's frustrating to be me. <laughs> when people want quick solutions, no results. Whatever it is that will make this go away today, and maybe we can do it again tomorrow and the day after, but I don't want to get too deep. I don't actually want to solve the problem. I just want things to be okay on the surface. I can't stand that. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, the, the, we want the surface solutions. I just want things to be calm. I want the resume to be calm. I want I want the balances to be calm. Uh, the, the resume, but I mean the surface where everybody can see it. That's what I mean. The surface presentation that all is well is so important to this person, but that also means they don't want to do any real work. I hate that. I want the results. I want them now, and I want to pay the least for them. Then that means you get, you know, the least results. But on the surface, everything looks fine. So it's, they just want things to go back into place, a smooth operation where things are convenient and laid out in the pentacle world, but there's no insight about the actual blockage and it keeps coming back to that sexual energy. I don't, you know what, your point of view about, I kind of feel bad about choosing you. What the hell was I thinking? I was exclusive to you. I tied myself to you. I committed myself to you. Why did I do that? That's starting to get a little sharper for me. Um, there's something here that even though they present on the surface, oh yeah, I'm passionate, baby, but also I know how to control it. I'm tempered. I'm tempered. I know what, the, I know what the, the heat's for. I know what it's for. It's to calm everything down. No, sometimes heat is heat. To heat things up. So that tells me if they are that anti-confrontational, then they are probably strongly anti-sexual too, 
and it was just a matter of time before that energy caught up to them. I don't know why they have such a hard time showing their sexual energy towards you. And they use it for other reasons. But it's like they're trying to nurse you into liking them or this situation again, and that's not the kind of healing you want. It's the respect of giving me your all because I've given you my all. That's what this comes down to. Your physical presence, your cooperation, your strength, okay? Your sense of goodwill and fortitude. And they only kick in in crisis mode to quote unquote calm everything down and get it back to normal. No real insight. The, the second that happens, let me tell you, and I think you already know, the second you cooperate on that level, things will go back into a predictable mode with no real work. I'm sorry. No, I'm called bullshit on this. And the fact they knew this was coming, they knew it was coming. That tells me they've gone out of their way to avoid it as long as possible. Well, I don't know why today's that day. I don't know why the judgment is here. Which is funny because I haven't seen judgment, but I think it's a matter of time. But it is for you. So I don't know if there was an argument that kicked this off. I don't know if something happened, you saw it, and it was so incontrovertible, like you couldn't deny it. I don't know. But it brought all this to light. It brought all this into sharp focus where you can't play along anymore. Okay. All right. Let's get... Oh, my, 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 my. Oh, I hate that. Let's just... Can we just can we just make sure things are smooth back on a functioning plane, please? I, I need the consistency here, and frankly, this is what I care about, okay? Our day-to-day -day realities, pro functions, all is well. Stability. I don't want to get into the real frustrations. Lack of insight. Page of Swords, Nine of Wands, about the blockage. In other words, let's just go back to what we've always done. You know, it's partial admissions. Oh, I know things are difficult. I know things are rough, but... You know? Ooh. I knew something was wrong as soon as they started suppressing fear and anxiety. They know. For some reason, they know. The usual method isn't working this time. Not this time. Not today. Not today, Jose. Let's see that Ten of Wands. Some of that Ten of Wands. Some of that Ten of Wands, some of that Ten of Wands, some of that Ten of Wands. Mm. That pretending all is well and forcing yourself to get along is it appropriate at work when you don't have to emotionally invest in that much in a colleague or whatever? Yeah, everybody just do their job, jobs and keep yourself separate in the meantime. This does not work when you're supposed to have an intimate relationship with somebody and there is that's the four of wands honey if their sexual energy is far away and absent fine but they didn't want to deal with it they didn't want to talk about it they didn't want to discuss it which means they had the obligation to do the exact opposite that's why i'm frustrated i'm not saying you should feel bad about picking this one i've already discussed that and i think you should understand that okay but I'm also saying your reaction then, given what I've seen here today, is absolutely normal. I would even say it was healthy reaction. You're going to question, I decided to tie myself to you? Why? Okay, Eight of Wands, the Magician, the Stars. It's really, really heavy. It's really, really heavy. This is a heavy decision on you. It weighs heavily on you to open up, communicate, and choose to heal, and still try to desire this, I'd imagine your desire for this situation has gone way down, especially if you feel like you're in a position to feel bad about it. But a part of you, if we're being honest, still hopes for some sort of outcome that's achievable. But you see that as a star that's far away. I don't know if you can still feel the attraction for this person naturally anymore. Let's jump on over to death. And without that attraction, the desire of it, specifically the stars, it's really hard to manifest this, as it would one would expect. Okay. Let's check out death, please. Let's check out death. I know a big part of you wants to hope. to Because I know it used to, this dream used to mean something to you, I know. There's a reason why you were exclusive to it. Right? 
A part of you would still hope for it, but you find it so difficult to find the rhyme, reason, and motivation to keep attracted to it. I don't blame you. <sighs> Doesn't seem to give you much reason to be attracted to it for the right reasons, the healthy reasons, the natural reasons, the organic reasons. It's more like you desire the want to hope as opposed to the reality. Because in the reality, I think you know what you're going to get. Okay. Guys, you got to live and make decisions based on the reality of the situation and not for the hope of what this used to be. And I know that's so much easier said than done. But that's often why people get caught up in these patterns. Okay. Because you can remember the promise of how it used to be. You got to work with today. Okay. The world, Queen of Cups, the Ten of Wands. I agree. Absolutely. So I just saw your Aquarius process. Whoa. Yep. That was very you. That was a thousand percent Aquarius. Mind you, that is your power card here. I tell this to people all the time. If it's that hard and you choose to do it, you need to know it's worth it. If it's that hard and you choose not to do it, it's because you understand that it's being too hard isn't worth it. You have to figure these things out. You did. Your heart's literally not in this. The hope for it, the hope for it is still real. But then when I told you to take a look around at the reality, that's what you did. So you are full on Aquarius here. Aquarius, double, triple, sun, rising, blah, blah. <laughs> All the highest forms of Aquarius are here today. Um, yeah, that's all here. You know, North Node, maybe. But uh, I'm seeing a high functioning Aquarius today. I know you don't want to do this, but you're saying your heart's not in it. The hope for it, you can sometimes feel it. But when you measure it against the reality, you're saying, my heart's not in this anymore. It feels too flat for this. I mean, guys, I can't make this up if I wanted to. Death is there. Okay. The world. Okay. The heart space. Uh, okay. Ten of Wands. You're saying if you choose to continue to accept this, you would have to transform your heart and have it, this would have to have different meaning and context to you in order for you to accept it, which is, again, very advanced thinking. It's true, too. You're dead on. Um, you're absolutely right. Again, you're showcasing what I tell people all the time. If you accept the new terms and conditions, not new, is what they've been in play, but if you officially accept this connection the way it is, you understand it would require you to change your heart in order to accept it. And you don't want to do that because this connection doesn't speak to you like that anymore. You want to accept it under its original conditions and how you entered it, where you had hope for it, and you could naturally desire it, and you could naturally manifest it, and you could naturally summon your heart and your sexual energy towards it. You're saying you can't get those days back. Part of you hopes for it, but you also know the reality. The reality is what they presented. I, what I'm offering to bridge this gap with you, Aquarius, is to get things back to where they were and kind of still leave the unresolved there because it makes me uncomfortable. I just need you to calm down right now. You see why you're a little pissed? Yeah. I can see why you're a little pissed. I'm trying to figure out if I can put that in your YouTube title without getting demonetized. <laughs> It is so picky about the words. <laughs> I'll try it and find out. But yeah, I can see why you're a little pissed. Your heart can't accept any more of what they continue to offer, which doesn't match the dream of what you used to manifest. The desires have shifted and changed so much. And it, I don't want you to force your heart to fit into a structure it's not meant to contain. to contain it. It's just, it's not you. And it's not what you wanted. It never was. You want your emotional energy to flow naturally of its own accord. You want your sexual energy to as well. And you don't want to feel, and you should never, ever be in that position, let me make this clear to you, of looking at the person you chose to give the best of yourself to, and then they put you in that position of questioning it. I'm looking at you. And I'm really trying to answer this question. Why did I give the best of myself to you? Because you most certainly don't give it to me. I don't know if you ever did. Why are you here? And you're asking me to go back to the way things were so it's at your convenience. I 
I don't want that. I don't think I want this. I told you, you were halfway out the door. Whew, goodness gracious. The Emperor, whatever you do, choose from a place of empowerment. If it must be an ending, make sure it's the correct one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of you for that. That's a very complex process to differentiate between what you used to desire in the past and how it's really hard for you to imagine manifesting that again and understanding that it's not what you want today. You're saying it'd be the impossible task. You're saying I can't desire it in its current state because its current state sucks and it has for a long time. Okay. Okay. No, you can't manifest Rome once it's fallen, but you can try to rebuild it. On the surface, where everyone can see it, it'll look fine. On the inside, they'll never really do a thorough job, and you, you know it. And once you have to start to question your own sense of commitment and why you did anything, it's, it's probably time to take the exit. All right, four of cups, the two of swords, and the three of cups. Yeah, no, I, I just you just know that you're unhappy. You just know. And that if you choose this, you will continue to be as such. The odds of this coming back together in an emotionally cohesive way that you feel good about emotionally, sexually, or, or feel empowered by, you're saying it's extremely low. So you are aware of the odds. You are aware of the stake here. Okay, let's see that hanged man, please. Obviously, it goes without saying that your sexual energy for this has been suspended, probably indefinitely. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and take a guess your emotional suspension, too. Like I said, you literally, your heart's not in this anymore. To be honest with you, I don't even see this person's heart or even their natural healthy desires. In fact, I see them saying, I knew this was going to come up. How do we shut this down as quickly as possible? Just get things back to normal. So I don't know what they want from emotionally, sexually, or anything. They want to fix the fight without having a fight. They want to fix the problem without fixing the problem. Okay. So imagine building the shell of a house, the outside, with nothing in it. That's that's pretty much what they, it's it's a hollow experience. Okay? I don't know that they were always like that, but uh, long enough for you to get confrontational with where you stand. Let's say that hanged man. Six of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, okay, good, good. Good, 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 good. Um, the Six of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Seven of Pentacles. You know, guys, the Hanged Man gained more perspective about what you committed yourself to and why. Okay, because commitment is here. Absolutely. There's that Six of Pentacles here. I saw it on the Eight of Pentacles. You, as someone who knows better, you clearly know better. Clearly. Okay. Someone who clearly knows better here. The hanged man. This is active suspension and looking at something on your own time and in your own terms. That six of pentacles that I saw over here, over that bogus bridge, to just keep things even. You, as the hair font says, I'm looking at this, and I know what to expect. It will not go beyond that seven of pentacles. It will always be stagnant, whatever this is. I have committed to stagnation. That's why nothing ever improves. Part of you knows this. Here is what I'm going to go ahead and point out to you is the obvious. I see the emotional death and therefore the sexual death for whatever this is. I haven't actually seen you exit it. Okay? So while you are no longer emotionally and sexually feeling obligated towards this, you feel nothing towards it, you still have the 3D world to contemplate in terms of realistically 
this is what I've put into it, what I can expect from it. And is there a part yet still to play in it? You would think, I know, you see the emotional death of something, you see the sexual death of something, I don't want anything to do with it, it just makes me miserable, I can't even hope for it anymore. You would think automatically the 3D goes on board. It doesn't. Sometimes there is a chasm of learning or perspective of insight needed before we can apply the 3D. And I see you heavily contemplating the 3D. You're saying you already know what to expect from it. The commitment has taught you that. So what's your obligation to the 3D world now? Okay. The fact that you tackled this portion is a big chunk right there. And I even saw you, I said, you can quote me, you can't help but wonder if you are always heading that direction of new beginning. Because you kind of want it, if you're being honest with yourself. So you got to ask yourself, how over is this? Because it looks pretty darned over. Two thirds of it. The emotional and the spiritual, and the question remains, what happens with 3D? And what's my obligation to it as Hierophant? Do I still owe this, whatever this is, anything at all? That's something you need to sort out, the hanged man. And you will. Oh, I know this wasn't very fun, frivolous, or sexy, was it? Nope. Nope. Oh, I bet your energy towards them at its height was amazing. <laughs> Honey, ha <laughs> ho. I bet you taught this person a thing or two about sexual desire and, and fulfillment and... The strength behind it, the strength behind your sexual energy, the best of your physical years. Oh, man. I bet you are a sight to behold for this person. At what point they stopped receiving it, caring, or reciprocating, I don't know. But the day you got confrontational with it is the day you saw their true colors. That they will always back away from this subject. That it clearly doesn't mean the same to them. They're not prepared to talk about it or fix it in any real tangible way that's believable. Or that's worth your value. Someone who really wants to fix it will. They don't just offer a bunch of cheap pentacles to shore up everything's okay. No, honey. Your, your spiritual self, your essence of you is so much bigger. I can see why you're pissed. I don't blame you. And if you have a new beginning in time, again, you were kind of feeling it anyway. It stands to reason. So the fact that you're being so meticulous with the 3G over here, what happens now in the real world? I'm not surprised. It just seems to be part of your character. You still, at the end of the day, want things done right. So bless you for that. I wish they had done the same for you. Probably wouldn't have ended up in this space. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Intimate terror. Ooh, sexual terror. Woohoo. Maybe sometime I'm going to get lucky this weekend. Right? I know, right? It's at this point that I'm smiling. I'm not laughing at you. I want you to know that I commiserate and I, exp I, I understand what you're experiencing. Uh, what you are at sunset... Sunset. Some of you like to watch the sunrise or the sunset. Last November might have been very, very important. And this current spring. It's been quite the story progress, hasn't it? The arc. Possibly beginning last fall, catching up to now. That would explain why I jumped into the very heart of the issue. Because we're at the very heart of it now. So what started as you possibly poking and prodding last fall with this person about the deeper issue, at some point hit apex or the climax of the situation here in spring. Oh yeah, shit like this can absolutely take months to, to evolve or to see it for what it is. You know, but I feel like that was some really critical stuff there. But for some reason at sunset... Do you have some really inspirational feelings or thoughts or memories or, or insights around that time? Some people really do have moments. Some of you next June, for some reason, will be critical. I don't know why. Uh, at various times, specifically when they see the sunrise or the sunset, um, other people are motivated by, like, uh, they have their best insights when they're doing something that's pretty normal. But 
dismissed, such as being in the car, driving, being in the shower, you know. And it's moments like that when we drift away that we can honestly get in tune with ourselves the most. So that's something for somebody. Okay. All right, guys, let's... Oh, my. Oh, dear. <laughs> I know I said to relax a little bit more on the intimate tarot readings because they can be so very in-depthful, but i got to be mindful. Unrequited very soon. Yeah, that's happening now. I know. You, you realize you two aren't on the same page if it ever meant the same thing, Tyler. It, to them, I don't know. I know what it meant to you, honey. And my heart breaks on your behalf. Why they played along when they know they didn't feel the same. Or they couldn't return it. Hell of fine, though. Maybe they attached themselves to you out of the fear of not knowing what else to do. Insecurity. Perhaps they had very poor concepts of sexual identity at the very beginning and you made them feel strong and secure. I don't know. But it's not returned, and we're seeing that now. The love and the sex is not the same. Okay. Uh, this could be the one. Now, that's interesting. Oh, why did you throw that in there at the last second? What is that? You've already met the romantic partner. You see... There might be something else here I'm not seeing today about that new beginning that's kind of there. That perhaps you've been feeling that way for a while. Perhaps there's something else in here I'm not seeing today where there might be a more equal partner for you elsewhere or outside of this that might draw you in a particular direction. You may not know who they are yet. But it could be one of the reasons why you might have been feeling very, very strongly about a new beginning for some time. Perhaps you don't know what that underlying current is, but for some of you it's there. For sure. Someone's a little more equal. Okay, of course, honey, I hope this helped you. Put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.